Hello friends, welcome to channel Teach Me Technically. What we are going to learn in this playlist is we are going to study computer architecture and the processor what we are going to study is MIPS. For all those who have not yet subscribed to our channel Teach Me Technically, subscribe it now. So let's start. In this lecture, what we are going to learn is the algorithm of Duane. So basically what's going on here is we have a divisor, we have a dividend, a remainder and a quotient. So div dividend is the number which we want to divide and divisor is the number by which we want to divide the dividend. Okay. And the result what we get after division is quotient and the remaining part is the remainder. Here we are simply performing the binary division. So here we are checking that the four bits 1001 is either greater than 1000 or not. So it is greater than divisor. So we will simply place one in the quotient and place the divisor right here 1000 and perform the subtraction. So after subtraction what we get is one. Okay. So this one comes here and according to the rule this zero comes down here. Okay. So now this value is smaller than the divisor. So what we will do is we will get this bit right down here. So to get this bit right down here, what we need to do is we have to add a zero in the quotient. So we simply add this zero to get this bit down. Okay. But this 101 is still smaller than 1000. So what we need to do is we have to get one more bit from the dividend. So now our bits become 1010 and in our quotient one more zero has been appended. So now our quotient become 100. Okay. So what we do is we just check that either 1010 is greater than divisor or not. So because it is greater than divisor. So we simply place the divisor right here and add one in the quotient. Then we perform our subtraction and after the subtraction what we get is 10 and it is actually our remainder because our all dividend bits have been utilized. So this is the simply division which we actually perform. So now what we are going to do is we are going to discuss the algorithm that how we would make the hardware to perform the division operation. So to perform division on a divisor of 32 bits, what we have is we have our divisor register which is double the size of divisor bits. So we actually have 32 bits of divisor, but we have the divisor register of 64 bits and an ALU of 64 bits, a remainder register of 64 bits. And in remainder register, we have written the value of the dividend in the right half. We have a 64 bits remainder register and a 32 bits quotient register. But the question is where is our dividend? So the value of the dividend is actually in the right half of the remainder register. Okay. So what's going on here is we have a 32 bit divisor and a 32 bit dividend. So to save the value of divisor, we have allocated 64 bits for our divisor and we have used the left half of the divisor to store the 32 bits of the divisor. Then we have 64 bits of ALU and remainder register. And in the right half of the remainder register, we have placed the value of the dividend and there is a quotient register with 32 bits. So basically in this algorithm, what we need to do is we have to subtract the divisor register from the remainder register and place the result back in the remainder register. Okay. So we will simply perform the subtraction and then place the result back in the remainder register. Okay. And after performing this subtraction, what we need to do is we have to perform a comparison. If the value in the remainder register is greater than zero, it means that the dividend is greater than the divisor. And if the value of the remainder is less than zero, then it means the value of the dividend is smaller and the value of the divisor was greater. In case the value of the remainder register is greater than one, then what we need to do is we have to simply shift the quotient register left once and after performing the shifting, the least significant bit of that quotient should be one. So basically it means that we have to shift the quotient register left once and make the least significant bit of the quotient register to one. And in the other case, if the value of the remainder register is less than zero, we will simply add the value of the divisor in the value of the remainder. So basically what it will do is it will restore the value of the remainder, which was actually right here at the start of the iteration. Then after adding the value of the divisor into the remainder register, what we need to do is we have to shift left the value of the quotient and make the least significant bit equal to zero. Okay. 
then after performing any operation of these two what we need to do is we have to shift the divisor register right one bit so after shifting the divisor register right one bit what we need to do is we have to perform the iteration of this loop and the number of iteration will be equal to the number of bits of the divisor not the size of the divisor register but actually the bits of the divisor okay so here the bits of the divisor are 32 so the iteration will be 32 so basically what's going on in this example is that there is a question register a divisor register and a remainder register the bits of the divisor register and remainder register are double than the bits of quotient register so basically we have four bits for the quotient we have four bits for the divisor however we have eight bits for the divisor register so the left half of the divisor register actually contains the bits of the divisor so it means 0010 are actually the bits of the divisor which means we are going to divide the number by two there are eight bits in the remainder and the right half of the remainder contains the bits of the dividend so these four bits are 0, 1, 1, 1 are the bits of the dividend. So now we are going to start the algorithm and this is our first iteration. What we will do is we are going to simply subtract the value of the divisor from the remainder register. So when we perform this subtraction, we get this value and the most significant bit of this value tells that this number is a negative number and is less than zero. So basically what we need to do is we have to follow this path and this path says that now we have to add back the divisor value in the remainder value and after addition the value of the remainder will become the value which was the value of the remainder at the start of the iteration. So after performing this addition of divisor in the remainder we get the original value of the remainder which was actually at the start of this iteration. Okay after this addition what we need to do is we have to shift left we have to shift left the quotient one time and replace the least significant bit to zero. So after shifting left the quotient register, what we need to do is we have to shift right the divisor register one time. So basically here we are shifting the divisor register one time. So you can see this in the blue color. So here our first iteration completes. Now what we need to do is we have to perform the second iteration. And here what we do is we subtract the divisor from the remainder. The value which we get is this one at the most significant bit implies that this is a negative number and is smaller than zero. So what we need to do is we have to follow this path of the algorithm. So we will simply add the divisor back in the remainder so that we get the original value of the remainder back which was actually at the start of this iteration. So after adding the divisor in the remainder what we need to do is we have to shift left the quotient register and replace the least significant bit of the quotient register with zero. And after that what we need to do is we have to shift right the divisor register one time. Okay so here our second iteration also completes. Similar is the case with the third iteration we similarly subtract the divisor from the remainder we get the negative value so what we do is we again add the divisor value in back in the remainder value then shift left the quotient once and replace the least significant bit with the zero and then we shift right that value of the divisor so here our third iteration completes now we are on our fourth iteration. We simply subtract the divisor from the remainder. We get zero at the most significant bit, which implies that it is a positive number. So basically it is greater than zero. So what we need to do is we have to follow this path. And what this path says is we have to shift left the quotient, but this time we have to replace the least significant bit of the quotient with one. And afterwards, what we need to do is we have to shift right the divisor register once. So here our fourth iteration completes. And now what we need to do is we have to go to the final iteration, which is iteration number five. We simply subtract the remainder from the divisor. We get this value and this value is a positive value. So we follow this path of the algorithm. And after following this path, we are simply shifting the value of the quotient register to the left and then making the least significant bit of the quotient register to the one. And after shifting the value of the quotient, what we need to do is we have to shift right the value of the divisor. So we simply shift right the value of the divisor here. Okay. After this, all the iteration, what we get is we were dividing seven by two and the result which we get is three and the remainder which we get is one. So basically when we divide seven with two, we get the quotient of three and a remainder of one. So our algorithm has been completed. So friends, if you understand the lecture, do comment in the comment box and let me know because it motivates me to make more videos. 
so i hope you understand the lecture give this video a thumbs up if you have any question do comment and subscribe to our channel teach me technically thanks for watching friends